Yeah, certainly in, over the past few years, we've had um, the benefit of having many more treatment options for our patients with CLL. Um, um, it is uh, certainly a, a, a great uh, thing to have for our patients who have uh, side effects and uh, request to change therapies for that reason or have, um, unfortunately, have disease progression on a therapy. Um, I guess the I think the main um, uh, things that I take into account when I'm discussing new treatment or next treatments for a patient are, are really those things, um, why they're switching. And, and if they're switching then uh, for side effects, then we can often consider drugs of the same class um, for patients patients on BTK inhibitors. We now have a few different BTK inhibitor options and um, now uh, published um, direct data from a trial that directly compared a calibrutinib with ibrutinib, um, where the um, incidence of uh, cardiovascular side effects, uh, mainly hypertension and arrhythmia, were lower with a calibrutinib. So especially for patients switching therapy for that reason or for those concerns, uh, uh, switching from ibrutinib to a calibrutinib is an option. It doesn't appear that there's a change in efficacy uh, between those agents. Um, and certainly based on their having this similar mechanism of action, patients progressing on one BTK inhibitor uh, probably shouldn't switch to another uh, non, uh, covalent BTK inhibitor. Um, I did... Uh, discuss as well others at this meeting that there's emerging and growing data with the uh, non-covalent BTK inhibitors, um, pertobrutinib, uh, the Arcule or uh, drug and others. Um, and so it will be um, good to see um, more data um, from further trials with these, but I think it'll be great that these will be options for our patients as well. Certainly venetoclax is, a, is an effective drug for this uh, setting. When I look back on published reports of patients progressing in ibrutinib from 2015. The prognoses were dismal. Only um, Patients were only living a few months. Um, so that's already much better now. Um, I think venetoclax is a large part of that improvement. Um, we're unfortunately starting to see a few patients that are progressing on venetoclax as well. Um, certainly patients that haven't had a BTK inhibitor before will uh, have a good chance of getting back into remission with that. But I think in that setting is where we uh, need to keep innovating and, and consider some other things like CAR T cells or, or allogeneic stem cell transfer for patients that get back into remission.